Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to configure it so you can play your uh, emulators on your TV. And first up, we need a PC or a laptop, a TV and a HDMI cable. So what you're going to do is plug the HDMI cable to the TV and to your laptop or PC. Today. And you would, what will happen is that you get a, hopefully a, your PC, desktop, and your secondary. If you don't get a secondary option, just pick the second option on extend these monitors and uh, this is for windows 10 if you haven't noticed yet but what you want to do is make sure that uh, you identify the uh, the screens this is number one and this is number two and the main issue with running uh, emulators is that when you drag them to your secondary screen your tv the emulators usually locks or if you put them on full screen you will get the full screen on your laptop but you want it to be on your tv so the first thing we want to do is we going to Minimize or just put the other window away and we're going to select graphics alter alternatives and the option the first option then we go down to the last option extend desktop and then we will choose digital TV plus PC screen and now the TV is going to become our first monitor and the laptop or PC monitor will come secondary and hopefully I did read this right this time because the last time I did it I messed it up so let's try if we did this right the emulator should run at the tv and will not lock soft lock or uh, get messed up when we do this so let's go to games Start off with Visual Boy and we're going to choose a, a ROM. And it should run. However, I did manage to run into an issue and the issue is if you get a black screen and but you get sound you're having the wrong uh, settings for vi video so go to options video and uh, other full screen check uh, like the first take the first one i did take, pick the first one then select the resolution for the TV or else it would think that is the re resolution for your laptop or PC screen and that's why you get the black screen and uh, choose the correct uh, resolution and uh, it will ask you would you keep this would you want to keep these settings and you will click OK if you see in a you see a see the, the logo but if you don't see this logo you have might have to pick another resolution but uh, you 
should be set for uh, Visual Boy at least. Uh, then we're gonna take uh, FC Vex, pick a ROM, and it should work. So let's take Euphoria. And we have pretty much Euphoria in full screen. The only issue I haven't figured out yet is that I got this Windows taskbar down there and the taskbar for FCVX. But I have to figure that out somehow. And if everything is all right now, it should play. Sadly, I haven't configured the controller. So let's just quickly set up start so we can see if the emulator works. So I don't. Yeah, it works. So that's not. Uh, about the resolutions and settings for video in this one, uh, I think you should be okay. There are some settings, but I think that this one run perfect. But the main issue I had this was when I've entered full screen, it pop up on the this monitor. And not that monitor. And also it's soft locked when I try to switch a between back and forth. So well, just set this one to your main P PC screen so you will have pretty much no issues. So we exit that. We take this. Uh, Let's take uh, Se Sega first. First, sorry. Uh, Fusion. This is the regular Fusion. Fusion. Um, same here. If you don't get the any pitch, if something doesn't work or you get an error message, check that the resolution is the correct one for your TV. Then just uh, press full screen. I don't have a keyboard. It's broken, so I have to use the mouse for everything. But so far is so good. If I right click, I can choose to boot like Sega CD. So. Now I can play Sega CD. And the right click on the mouse again, exit full screen. And it seems to work. It's no issue. I can play this in full screen as well. And the last one is NES Nia X. And that one is was uh, like the only one I could play without changing the settings. I could just drag and drop it to the to the other screen, but it should work fine. Just make sure that the video and display configuration are correct but I think I didn't need to change anything so just let's go into full screen and there is no issue it works so I hope this guide will help you guys and girls who are having issues with your emulators not running properly in dual screen mode and hopefully some some people can use this other than setting up uh, emulators and just use it for 
uh, other applications. But if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them. And thank you so much for watching and have a good day.